Hi guys, it's Ivy. Um, tried starting my video a couple times before, um, but my dog was knocking on the door. Uh, he really wanted to be with me. His name is Dumpster. He was found in a dumpster, so he also eats anything that he can try to get his little face in. He is a sweet boy. So he's just going to hang out here, take naps, sniff stuff, see if he can eat it. He's a good boy. <laughs> So, I'm recording up here, um, my husband's playing video games and I didn't want that in the background. Um, I also get really awkward talking in front of people, so I told him to keep his headphones on so he can't hear me, um, and it's also really cold, it just snowed last night a lot here, so I have my heater going, so hopefully that noise isn't too aggravating. Um, so today I want to talk about potting up propagation, propagated plants, um, and then talk about um, a little bit about propagating, um, and I'll show you eventually how to propagate certain plants. Um, I have a bunch that I want to grow a little bit before I just start chopping it off, um, especially because it's the beginning of growing season and I don't want to shock my plants and have them die on me, because <laughs> that's happened before. Um, so I have here, um, two plants that were gifted to me that are growing in water. Um, their roots are going crazy. Um, this ivy here was grown in dirt before and the dirt wasn't fully washed off. So there's some little bit of dirt in there. Um, ivies usually do really well in water and in soil. Just ivies do great. Um, because they're like little weeds. I don't know. They're they're fun to, to play with and to, to pot up and plant and propagate. Um, I used to have a whole bunch of them and then I got uh, spider mites and I had to throw them all away just because it was I couldn't keep up with the bugs. Um, not very fun. Um, and spider mites usually happen because it's uh, dry. Um, the plant is dry. Um, you can put your ivy in the shower uh, either with you if you want to. I know some people that shower with their plants um, if you're really that dedicated um, or you can just run it under some light not hard water um, just some light streams of water um, just to kind of keep the foliage um, a little wet so the bugs especially spider mites don't get on there because I know a lot of ivies that get spider mites and it's not fun trying to get rid of them. They're tiny little spider things. It's, it's not fun. So anyways, I also have a, I don't know how to pronounce the Latin names of some of these plants. This is a Chattascantia zebrina. It's also a form of spiderwort, which is really cool. Um, there's many different kinds of spiderworts. Um, my sister had some growing in her yard and she didn't know what it was and we did some research and found out they're this really cool purpley flower with like really dark green leaves and they just spread everywhere um, so up where she is they're everywhere um, so that's pretty cool um, so let's get into potting them um, so I have these two pots um, I wanted a little bit bigger pot but I actually used up all my pots <laughs> recently um, that are about this size um, and it's got some from the water and the humidity um, but I wanted to use this size pot. I only have these or very large ones and you don't want to do too large. So I'm going to see how well the ivy does in one of these. Um, but the spider wart should be fine in this. Um, so when you have propagations, either when you do them yourself or when someone gives you a clipping, um, you want to make sure the roots are, I usually say at least three inches long. Um, or at least big enough to hold up the plant. Um, so let's see, depending on what you have, there we go. They're kind of tangled up together, <laughs> growing together. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one first. So the ivy has a whole lot of plants, uh, leaf, roots, <laughs> can't talk. Um, the white ones up here are new. Um, this kind of brown looking one still has soil on it, um, which is fine. That's normal if they come out of the soil like that. 
Um, it's just got some dirt on it, which is fine. Um, but this has been growing like crazy and I've only had it for a couple weeks. I don't even think I've had this in water for a month and it's just shot out a bunch of, um, roots. So I think that's why a lot of people like ivies. They're trailing, they're vining, they're really pretty. Um, obviously because I'm named after a plant. Um, and they grow really easily. Um, they're pretty easy plants, um, for a first plant purchase, I would say get an IUV or a spider plant um, or even a uh, spider wart. They are so easy to take care of. Um, they're very forgiving. Spider warts, not as forgiving, but um, the spider plant and the IVs are, they're great. You can kind of forget about them and then find them again and be like, oh, and they're fine. They're like, oh, hey, I've just been trying to survive here. Um, Anyways, this is, this one's roots. They're probably about two inches long. I'm still going to try it. Um, these guys do really well too in just soil propagation. So if you have a plant and, oh, my dad's texting me. Did it go off? No, maybe? Okay, that's good. No loud noises from my phone. Okay. Um... If you have one of these and you accidentally snap off a piece, um, which is very easy with these ones, um, just stick it in soil, stick it back in with the plant and it should, most of the time, should grow uh, roots and get established in the pot because it's kind of used to growing through soil. Um, if you put it in water after it snaps off, it'll grow roots, um, it just has to get acclimated to the soil. Um, so with the soil that I use, um, it's my normal potting mix that I use. I make mine very airy. Um, I use regular potting mix, um, try to stay away from stuff with chemicals in it as it can burn the new roots. Um, so I try to stay with organic, but I actually ran out. So I actually, this is miracle Grow, um, which does have chemicals in it but it's been working pretty okay with me hasn't burned any of my plants recently so this is what i'm using um i add more perlite and orchid bark to make it a little more airy um just a lot of orchid bark in there <laughs> um because you want it to be more drying so you can water it more often definitely keep an eye on these guys um after you pot them up because um, they do dry out fast they like especially if you grew them in water they want to be very wet um, so this dries out fairly fast because I love to water my plants I love to sorry there's something in my eye I love to water my plants um, so I want to water them as often as possible uh, and if they dry out faster then I can water them more um, I think I got soil flew up in my eye that's going to be fun to cry out of my eyeball. Um, so I have an actual little pot here that um, I've washed out and I use to scoop the miracle Grow soil into this and then mix it up with my other stuff. Um, you can use um, worm castings in here. It's very organic, very natural. Um, it's probably better, definitely better than the chemicals. Um, but I'm not going to add um, worm castings to this because there is some fertilizer already in the soil that I'm using and I don't want to burn the new growth. So I'm going to take a scooping of this and oh. stick it in the pot. Let's see if I can hold the holes <laughs> going where all of my just cleaned room. And you're just going to pour a little bit in there. Oop, too much. I feel like the ivy would be fine in this. And you want to make a little divot hole, like a little, not all the way through to the bottom. You want some soil at the bottom, but you want just enough where you can stick the roots in there, just like a normal potting up plant. Um, now a little bit more. All right, and then this guy's going to be really long in here. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed two bigger pots, but 
obviously don't have any. So I'm going to hold him up and just fill in around him and definitely cover up all of his roots that he has in there. Kind of pack it down a little bit without breaking the roots. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more and top it off. With these guys, it's really cool because they grow roots out of um, like the notches in their stems. So anywhere you see like a bump and it grows kind of zigzaggy a little bit, um, pretty much where the leaves start coming out of, that's where it grows the roots. So if you do pot it a little bit deeper than the roots are that's okay um, it might grow roots out of those notches at the top um, but it can cause uh, stem rot which is like root rot is just it's gonna be very moist on the top and it could cause them to get soggy and gross um, just keep an eye on it um, if it's not doing well in the soil I would just pull it back out check uh, the roots that it's got on there um, if they're turning black Sadly, you have to clip off the black roots um, because those are rotting and it can cause rot to go up the plant and just kill your whole plant. Um, so you can clip off the dark roots, um, the black roots that are crunchy or soggy or gross and smelly um, and stick it back in water and hopefully it'll just kind of redo itself. Um, if the stem starts rotting, chop off. Um, you know where it starts rotting where it's getting squishy and gross chop that off put it back in water let it sit and grow more roots so this guy is good um i'm going to my sister gave me these really cute chopsticks um and i cleaned them recently just to make sure i'm not transferring any diseases or bugs or anything like that um they've got cute little characters on them this one's got ducks on them and it says sweet friend <laughs> I don't know where she got them but they're super cute so I'm gonna stick this guy in there to help him hold it up and let him just lean on that there we go so he's gonna be in the window soaking up some Sun hopefully will fan himself out and you know grow some more leaves and once he seems to really um, be used to his new pot I will give him some fertilizer um, I use uh, fish emulsion um, it's very stinky um, you really have to dilute it um, but it works so well it's better than chemicals because it's less likely for you to burn your roots so now I'm gonna do the ivy same exact way I got soil on my floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Dig a little hole in there. And stick his little feet in there. And just push the soil down and around. Ooh, that's a lot of pear like. Ah. <laughs> this is a messy process. Make sure you have space and time to clean after. <laughs> okay. He's a little crooked in his pot, but that's okay. He will shoot up more babies, and I can propagate off of him. I can uh, take out anything that's going to grow from the soil. All right. And it's a cute little, you know, windowsill plant. They really get used to anything, really. Um, as long as they have some sun and some water and something to grow in, the ivies really, you know, take off. They're really great plants. So there's that guy. I'm not going to stake him up because he seems to be doing okay. Um, they do like to climb on things. So if he is, do you want to check it out? So if he is falling over. No? You don't like that one? Huh? He's tired. He's an old man. Um, so if he is starting to fall over or really climbing on everything else, I will put something in here. Um, you know, maybe another 
chopstick with some uh, pandas. I can't think at all. Um, stick a chopstick in there, let them grow on it. Um, you can tie him to something, um, lightly tie him, um, your plant to, you know, a little something to stand him up or to grow on. You could put wire in here and make it like a bubble and just let him grow around that. Um, my first ivy plant my mom gave me was from a uh, really pretty basket she had and it was this big pot and the ivy was growing on wire that they had made into a heart and it was just growing out of control and crazy so my mom was just clipping stuff off and gave me some of that so I had that for years and years before I got spider mites and I had to toss it and it was pretty much dead anyways but they're really fun plants and they grow and you know you have your mother plant and you just keep taking pieces off of it giving it to friends and it's a really fun process um, so my next video I'm going to show you how to propagate a maranta and how to take care of a maranta thank you